Hello friends, this session we are going to talk about environment checklist. For example, we are going to move board from development environment to SIT or production environment. So what are all the settings we have to do before moving to other environments? Maybe you are moving from development to SIT or SIT to production or else sometimes development to SIT, SIT to UAT, UAT to production or else pre-production to production. So whatever it may be, the settings has to be done before moving to any environment for the all the bots. So before moving to these settings, the first thing we have to get it is bot ID or robot ID. See this, the robot ID will be useful to access the VM VM login as well as robot ID will get user ID and password. This user ID and password will be accessible through credential. Credential user ID and password will be updated in credential vault. But the thing is, this user, this robot ID user has to be created in control room to the bot user. The first settings you have to do is Internet Explorer. The process settings should be 100% of the server. so it should be default so whenever you are using any web application default you have to be set up on it otherwise the problem is the bot will behave somewhat different when you are moving to other environments for the important setting is resolution setting this is the first one and the important settings so when you are moving from one environment to another environment so before moving to your bot and also develop on how to set up your resolution. Usually, so we will 1368 and 1368 and 720 resolutions we will do or else the resolutions will be based on time. So if client VDA has some resolution, we are developing the resolution of same, we will move to same resolution to our environments. So as if resolution changes happen, the bot will not work proper way. The second thing is for unattended mode. And so if bot is moving to unattended mode, it should be check the window sleep mode setting. The window sleep mode should be set as never. So if it is unattended mode and window sleep mode is not setting, whenever bot move to ideal, that would be the issue occurs and sometimes the error has to be occurred. And fourth one is SQL Server database check. For each robo or each bot, it should have a database connection. Suppose you are using SQL Server or other databases. If database connection check fails, probably bot begins under getting error in the meantime. The fifth, the important thing is auto login or login agent settings. In AA, it will say as auto login, in BP, it will say as login agent. This login agent is very important. For example, so when bot is moving to unattended mode or unattended mode, it has to be the bot has to check as auto login settings. So when, for example, the bot is running, and the first step is bot has to log in into VDA or virtual machine. So it will go, it will go and fast login into a virtual machine. Once the login and legal disclaimers of virtual machine has been completed, then it will stop your applications running, which means. So the process will start only after the login of the VDA or VM. So once the VM has to be logged in, the process will start. The VM login has to be kept through auto login and login agent settings. In AA auto login settings, the tools options um, auto login settings available. These auto login settings itself it's available as legal disclaimer. Sometimes when you do um, your VDA, IVM, VM or desktop login, so it has some legal disclaimer that also it will cover on it. In login agent, in rules of login agent should be the same bit as like your desktop. For example, 32 bit is your, uh, if it is your desktop is 64 bit, the same login agent should be 64 bit. And sixth setting is configuration setting. So config file, whichever you are using, website URL or else email is, email ID means uh, when bot uh, sending reports that email ID is or it's bot has some technical or business exception so that we are 
setting to configuration maybe the configuration file may be txt file or saml file is it has to be set before moving to other environment the second one is uh, if application has different java the java bridge or jb setting should be done i already created some videos for settings of java script so you can run it if you need i will i will create it again also the url access for the bot so so your bot has or your bot or robot id should be have all access of url virtual urls and as well as excel inside excel but some of the basic application to be access as like as your virtual url and uh, the important thing is the bot should be bot id should be configured in credential vault for user id and password for security purpose so not only the uh, um, website user id or website password maybe if you are using sftp you can set sftp user id and password if you are having secret server authentication connection id maybe your user id password has to be set in credential vault or credential settings to be set in credential vault setting this is the one thing this credential vault has to be user id and password attributes are remain same but the thing is you are changing your control room from development room to production room or um, uat control room to production room so once only the changes control room changes but you have to set the same ids or attributes in the three environments so attributes will not change for each and every every environment for example the attribute means if you are created the user of the um, for example, you are accessing some URLs, for example, that URL has to be there. So that URL, if you want to access, you need user ID and password. So user ID has one attribute and password has another attribute. It should be remain same for your development environment. Bloomberg underscore user ID, that is your user ID and environment attribute. And uh, as well as if you are moving to production environment, Bloomberg underscore user ID is the same attribute for other environments as well. The attribute name should not be changed based on the environment. Some developers has to be uh, has changing the attributes based on dev underscore UAT. that should not be the best practice the practice should be the attribute should be same for all the three environments and uh, finally so what has all the access to login your virtual machine or your VDA through auto login as well as URL access and uh, this access we have to check so when we are doing development, developer has access, developer ID. For example, developer has some user ID and password. So that we are getting access for our website URL and applications. The same access should be happened. So whatever we are getting access when we are doing development, the same access, active director access should be happened to password. So that bot can be like, so when we are doing development, how developed or completed and running the environment in develop, the same way the bot will be. 